What's up everybody, Mr. Steve back. We've got Blender 4.3. This is an update and I've made it even better by adding some code that automates the process for you. So now bevel edge weight, I've added an attribute in, I've highlighted the attribute in the index and made it active. And all I did was select an edge and press a button and it did the thing. So here we go. The manual way of doing this is I'm gonna grab this, hit Control E, and I'm gonna go down to edge bevel weight, and I'm gonna to try to come over, and I'm gonna select that, and make sure it's at one, it wasn't at one, it's just how it goes sometimes. And I wanna come over to the attributes, and add an attribute, set it to edge, it's a float, I can add it, make sure it's highlighted, then I gotta come all the way over here, and let's add a bevel modifier to that edge, and switch to weight. Okay, so now I've got that um, as a separate bevel, and it just doesn't look that great, but that's because I selected one edge. So that's the process, but now if you do this the way I've got it set up in the add-on, which is gonna be going into bevel joints tonight, I just wanna make sure it's perfect. Um, so now you just select an edge, click add bevel weight. It's gonna set the attribute, name it, highlight it, do everything for you. You can name that up here and just grab an edge. Now it'll give you the control, of course, to say bevel this edge. Then if I wanna select these two edges, I'm gonna do the same thing. It's gonna add a new modifier, it's gonna load the modifier, it's gonna set up the attribute, it's gonna name the attribute. It's gonna do all that for you. It's just gonna put a nomenclature 0 0.001, 0 0.002. So if you don't want that, you can change it right here. And this would be edge bevel uh, weight six. So if I wanted to come over here and grab this edge, I can do that. Now it'll be named six. And then you end up with another modifier named six right here. And so this for hard surface modeling, I think is gonna really set things off. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and dump this into bevel joints now and upgrade it. And what you guys can do if you don't have the add-on is you can go pick it up. And if you uh, do have the add-on, make sure to upgrade. Uh, because now this with attributes on the bevel modifier, this is the closest thing we have to having actual geometry nodes based bevels where, you know, the bevel node comes in play and you've got all these extra controls. And this is a lot better than vertex beveling, which frankly, a vertex is not an edge. And if you select three vertex and add it in, you get a wonky bevel. So anyways, thank you for watching. See you guys in the next one. Um, the add-on link will be in the comments and the description.